What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is a really, really popular game right now. It's one of the games that I'll get around to one of these days. I'm just so caught up in my backlog, guys. I got so many games that I still haven't even played. I literally have about 20 PS4 and Xbox One games that I haven't even tried. So instead of wasting money and just adding to my library, I've been steadily trying to eat away at this animal. You know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So I'm going bite by bite, trying to get through some of these games, and i got to say, this year I've been doing it. You know, last year I didn't do it quite as much. This year I probably beat at least 15 games, and, and that made me feel a lot better about things, and, and I was able to kind of put these games aside and know what they're all about and feel better about moving forward. So, No Man's Sky, back to the, the subject of this video. It's a very popular game. Lots of people enjoy it. It's really one of those... Uh, one of those weird kind of games where it gets really high praise from some people and some people really don't like it. It's one of those crazy situations. That alone intrigues me because I want to find out which of those demographics I fall in line with. I love the tech behind you know, the game. I think the idea of a never-ending uh, universe is amazing. Uh, and you know, procedurally generated planets with different animals and plant life, to me that's incredible they were able to create an algorithm that does that. Uh, the meat on the, on the, on the bone, though. Is there enough to keep you there and keep you excited? And, and the videos I've seen, it seems like the game may get a little uh, repetitive. Uh, and after about, this is what I hear at least, after about 20 to 30 hours, you really feel like you've seen the peak of the gameplay and there's really nothing else to find. Of course, everything is going to look different, but you still feel like it's the same. So it remains to be seen whether or not it's a game that I actually like. But we all know that No Man's Sky is an exclusive right now on the PlayStation 4 and on the PC. Will it ever come to the Xbox One? That's a question that a lot of people in the Xbox community want to know. And a lot of people in the PlayStation community probably want to know as well. And it seems like it might. It just might. I'll drop a link in the description. In a new No Man's Sky update, it's been revealed that the hit PS4 and PC title could eventually be released on Xbox One. At least if new evidence posted on NeoGAF is anything to go by. No Man's Sky data miners discovered that the Havoc physics engine used to develop the game allows for PS4, PC, and Xbox One development. Furthermore, Hello Games co-founder Sean Murray was quizzed about an Xbox One port by Daily Star and was unable to provide a definitive answer about the game's status as a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Murray said that he, quote, wasn't sure what he was allowed to say, end quote about No Man's Sky coming to Xbox One before a Sony rep moved the conversation along. The same data miners also uncovered evidence of Xbox 360 and PS3 versions, suggesting that the game may once have been in development for last-gen machines. So, it sounds like this game may be a timed exclusive. I don't know if it is or not. But if Sean Murray is one of the co-founders of Hello Games, and he says, quote, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, end quote, that sounds like he knows more than he's saying, obviously. There's some information and details about this contract that they have with Sony that he isn't allowed to say as per the contract. So probably as an NDAA, um, as far as the, the period of time that this game will be on PlayStation 4. And good for them. Uh, I think Hello Games, I think these small developers, these indie developers who make incredible games, they need to get it out to the world. And, and of course, uh, No Man's Sky is selling like crazy. I think it would sell great on the Xbox One. You know, I, I think that everybody deserves a chance to play incredible games. Uh, if you're only on the Xbox One, I'm sure you've seen No Man's Sky and you'd like to give that game a try. And the only people who would tell you no are people who hate, who are just haters and upset that uh, that Xbox gamers want to play games. I think everybody should be allowed to play great games. So it sounds like it's very, very possible uh, through this cryptic message that was given to the Daily Star that this game could be coming to the Xbox One. You guys, keep your fingers crossed on this. Uh, I'm optimistic. I think that, you know, with time, we've seen some crazy things happen with time. We've seen Sonic hold Mario's hand and run together. So we've seen Mass Effect come to PlayStation. It's very, very possible that No Man's Sky could come to the Xbox One. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think No Man's Sky is going to be a permanent fixture in the PlayStation family and on PC? Or do you think it's possible we could see this thing come to the Xbox One? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, call. Hey, my daddy, call. Take our